Okay, so what this is is basically a little little video about uh, my um, little mock-up here, a little uh, mechanism for shooting aerial photography. I'm, I've been working on this uh, for the past couple of days. I uh, picked up this camera. This is a Kodak 10.2 uh, megapixel uh, C180. I got a lot of Woot.com. A good deal. I got it shipped for 50 bucks. Takes decent photos. It's nice and light. Uh, with batteries, uh, it's about six ounces, um, so that should be workable with uh, my Super Cub, which I'm going to be using the, to take some aerial shots. It's first should be a, it's going to be a wing-mounted, uh, uh, basically taking pictures perpendicular to the fuselage um, off the side of the off the side of the wing like that as it's flying moving forward. Um, it was important that this had the camera had a burst mode and infinity focus for taking these pictures. I guess uh, the study and I've uh, up on this I've done. Um, I've seen people picture, especially the Magpie, as the AP platform has the side, uh, the camera mounted sideways. It takes good pictures. So uh, anyway, on to the uh, thing here. Basically, what I got here is I have just a balsa wood frame that I made. I painted it. It's kind of a little rough. I'm gonna uh, do it up, sand it nice, and make it look a little bit better. It's a single um, Tower Pro 9 gram servo with a you know specially modified you know uh, servo arm with uh, some shrink wrap on the outside of it uh, to make it a little bit more you know not so it won't so it won't mar the camera because I still plan to use the camera just you know to have a point and shoot and my pocket point and shoot um, basically I have this this is uh, custom made here so it kind of holds the camera I also have drilled a hole for the camera mount um, I'm gonna get a nylon screw so you put that put that through there when I fly it's just to cut down on vibration and stuff and uh, so basically, yeah. So I've got this basically on the gear channel of an AR6200. This is I'm just testing with, and uh, basically it's a matter of just kind of putting the camera in. I've got it. I've got Velcro on some soft, uh, fuzzy Velcro here, just kind of so keep it uh, lined up. Let's see if you can see. That's a little fuzzy Velcro there. You can see. Basically, just uh, bring this down. It kind of holds tight. And I've got a couple rubber bands to to hold it down, like so. See, and that uh, holds it fairly tight. There's no shaking there, no movement. So I did uh, cut a hole here. If you see in the hole in the top, that little hole, so I can, uh, can toggle the power if I need to do. Should work. See the camera screen. Okay. Right now I don't have an actual card in there, so I'm just using the internal memory. Um, just to take pictures here. Okay. I've got my uh, DX7 programmed to, uh, I got the gear channel program. Basically I did the um, I adjusted the, did the travel adjust on the gear channel so it would just press the uh, the shutter or the shutter button enough. Um, there's one thing that's kind of annoying me here that I every time I go, have to go in here and I have to go in here and set the set the burst mode. I guess that's some kind of uh, well, thing of the camera. So yeah, I have to set the burst mode to on so it'll take three pictures back to back. Let's see, so um, anyway. Menu. All right. See if you get it so you can see the actuation here. Just have a. Uh, <coughs> speed controller just to do the business here. Okay. My receiver on, my transmitter on. And come over here, gear, I've got the gear set up here. And that just took three pictures. Takes a minute. So you go back through the review here. You can see, of course, they're all the same, the same thing here, you know. Nothing too terribly interesting, but um, delete them all. And 
Okay. See? I could also just, I got it so basically I just do one. And I'll take one picture, you know? And then. That takes three pictures. Check the review there. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. The servo does strain a little bit, but I don't think it's, um, it's, it's, you know, it's not peaking or anything. The stall current should be something that's manageable, um, on the Super Cub. But, see, it's a nice little camera. Oh. Cut out there. Oh, I hit the power. Oops, so it's... Yeah, freaking insect invasion. So yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, it's uh, fairly light. It comes out to about seven ounces, uh, seven and a quarter ounces, all up there with this, you know, this all this equipment here. Um, I was thinking about actually making up a lipo cell to like attach to here, and then you run run to the power leads. So. Uh, save a, maybe an ounce or so of weight over the the nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride batteries I have in here now, but uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, pop this off here. Power down. And uh, that's all she wrote.